Welcome Blade back to Let's Play Psycho Waluigi with Hazel. If you're just tuning in, wow. <laughs> Go watch the other ones because we are speedrunning through all of the levels, starting here with Falling Star Kingdom. No, really, this is uh, this is what you guys like to see, I guess, so I'm... No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, come on, let's go fly, let's go fly, um, yeah. Let, let's, let's just say right here, this level, Falling... Uh, Falling Sky Kingdom, I mean, it was kind of hard as Waluigi because I needed to worry about where the land masses are. Now that Hazel has a jetpack, I've gotten really cocky and I'm like, well, even if I miss the land masses... I can just fly my way. And true, it seems like the flying speed thing, it's like, look at this. I can kind of, I kind of hover for a long time in the air, right? I don't know if that means I can just kind of float indefinitely, but this stage is definitely very weird. What with the low downward momentum and the side to side. So, it's actually more dangerous in this stage being as Hazel because there's just so much air time that your jetpack doesn't, um, Refuel and even when it does refuel it feels like you've just got it forever, but that's not true It's definitely a false sense of security in this stage and by the way, it's not just a downward uh, Low momentum, but you're also slowly being pushed to the left side the entire time. So I don't know it's, it's, it's Weird, but when you get used to it, it doesn't impede the flying really the problem is that the, the flying just it makes you feel like you're a lot more maneuverable than you really are in this stage. I mean, in all the other stages, you're fine, but right here, like, you run out, and all of a sudden, you're pretty much exactly the same. So, if you end up flying off the stage to try and find a secret or something, as Hazel here, you're probably going to get yourself killed. Now, I know there's another gem somewhere down in that maze, but let's just continue, because it's not a speedrun if I don't. <laughs> And by the way, these great eggplants, they do give points, but they also seem to refill my fly bar. I'm not sure if that's very uh, useful or not. Um, I definitely want them for the points. Whether, since my fly um, will refill, uh, depending on how long I'm standing on the ground, I don't know if the eggplants, per se, are actually that uh, necessary for getting fly back all of a sudden. And up here, you can kind of fly around the edge, ignoring the whole rest of the stage, because the area you need to go down is that pipe right there. What I'm doing right here is I'm just going to go a little bit farther and uh, hopefully grab a heart power up in this block. Yes, perfect. It, it always seems like when you're hazel speedrunning things, for some reason, uh, when you need a heart, there is one nearby. And there we go, there's actually two uh, little gems right here on the side for you to get. I think normally you'd have to commandeer one of those uh, hazelnut clouds and fly upwards. Um, but when you're hazel, there is no need for that at all. <laughs> you can just jump, fly, and all of a sudden you're right where you need to be. Precision, precision, that's what she's all about, really. Uh, although right here, it, you might as well just not fly at all. Uh, this is the downward floaty section. Why there are trees growing in sideways? Don't know, but we'll worry about that another day. <laughs> Possibly Falling Sky Kingdom. This place... This is one of the weirdest places in Unconscious, I have to say, as far as all the levels go. I mean, Perpetually Falling World? It, really? And, and and this is not one that Iris has messed up, right? This, this world is just this strange. Uh, these bullet bill things actually get in the way quite often, uh, especially here. I mean, even when you're not Hazel, you, this is tricky. I, I hovered all of them right here, but it's, it's really weird. You dodge the fire like I didn't. <laughs> anyway, I've just grabbed that gem off screen. It, I'm so close to the end, I, I'm not playing this level again. <laughs> no, no, I'm not playing this level again. Destroy the king and you are fine. Like I said, it's just tricky because the farther you go with the jetpack, the faster you are. Momentum. That's what it is. It's momentum. It's not Super Meat Boy momentum and it's not wanna be the guy momentum. It's just jetpack and falling area. And it crashes again at the end, always making it seem why is the point of this? But it doesn't matter. Let's do the fluff and stuff kingdom. The area that's absolutely full of spiky things. See, there's one right now. And I I think you're able to get up here as Waluigi, um, somehow, probably jumping on an enemy, but, uh, actually most of the secrets in the first part of the stage are simply up high. This is another one of those levels where, um, 
Well, actually, have I seen those levels yet? But, uh, I remember in my test playing, there were a lot of levels where it was like, Hazel, you don't get into any new areas because the game has planned for this. And this is one of them right here, where the ceiling, there's a ceiling on this level. You don't notice the differences when you're Waluigi because it all just seems like background, but this being Hazel, it's definitely a, a hamper on thing. And don't do, don't get too close to explosive blocks when you blow them up. Again, I tend to find myself more often than not when giving advice on this game to be learning through trial and error because that way, you know what, you can't blame me for screwing up the first time. But hey, you know, this, this is pretty much the best way to learn, isn't it? Uh, you're, there's no shortage of boomerangs in this stage for some reason. I mean, it's not the stage where they introduce the boomerang. It is the stage where they... I don't know, this, ne this mechanic never really comes up again, except in uh, Nightmare Land, where you can just get random items all of a sudden. Uh, here, it just, you know, you might get a boomerang, you might get a spiky poof ball, you might get a squid. Um, I don't know if there's that many other things you can get. Uh, it's, it's actually really difficult in this area here, though, to find a heart really quickly, because everything around you can deal damage to you, and if you want to, yeah, right there, that's my issue. You try to destroy these things to get closer to the heart, it just falls all the way to the bottom of the screen, and then by the time you, like, get down to the bottom of the screen, it's already despawned. However, there is a star right here you're gonna want to not die from, and instead grab it, and swim to the right. Uh, you'll see. It's just so much simpler. I mean, look at all these spiky things I have to destroy otherwise. That's crazy. Get a red gem, and if you, and I already took out another star. Yeah, if you are invincible and you kill another raging star with the first one, your raging star meter will simply replenish itself. I don't know if that's used too often, except, you know, in Raging Star Kingdom itself, where I think you can chain them. If you're if you're really savvy about it, it's not all that necessary. But I mean, if you're speed running it, hey, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Although when you're Hazel, speed running it definitely doesn't have to do with chaining things together. I think I just grabbed three boomerangs at once. But uh, yeah, you don't need to worry about chaining things. You can just fly over the world. But this is another kind of water level. There are two hearts here that I missed the first time. And when you're in this stage, eh, it's pretty fair that you're gonna need a heart here and there. I've already gotten the gold diamond. Uh, I don't think there's too much other th point things you need to worry about at this area. So don't worry about getting all those coins, even though they would drop a whole lot of coins. They're just silver ones. Silver ones are not that consequential. Really, the gold coins are what you're after. These ones here. I mean, they might only be a couple points each, but they're, they're, they're significant when grouped together. Uh, I've noticed that quite a lot during the playthrough of this game. And I always find it a bit tricksy to... You know, use the boomerang and then catch it back on the return. You, you can pull off some fun little trick things with those. <laughs> and here we have the mega spikes from Super Mario World, which, uh, yeah, again, don't get too close to the explosives, even though you kind of need to for that area. Uh, possibly the boomerang would have been a good choice there. And for this here, you need to kill him really quickly, or he will just... I, it's gonna be very difficult to make this jump if he breaks all of those explosive blocks and then you've just got that big uh, That big mega spike here particularly if you're Waluigi playing this actually Hazel got her death tap So that doesn't really matter that much But uh, For here that cloud is in a very good position to deal damage to you if you're not careful and those totem pokies yeah, They've always been a bit of a bane of my existence in this game so you you know get through that very carefully, and then uh, try and get rid of these things, because they tend to fly in such erratic patterns that you can't even see when they're uh, they're coming back. I'm not entirely sure, but in the battle with Iris, I'm pretty sure that those things are have been recolored to look like pink eye flies, because they, they're the only things that I can really see as being so crazy. Now, for here, what I'm doing is I'm going back to grab the piranha to kill the block, but I forgot. Yep, I think it's a good thing I died. I'm in the fluff and stuff kingdom. Even, like, I can just grab something from the ground. I can't believe I forgot that. This was the stage of the mechanics. I got so hung up on trying to dodge spikes and things that, uh, you know, you can just get murdered. Now here, what would probably be best is if you grabbed this and blew up everything. I don't know if the, all those coins are now significant now that there's so many of them, but uh, let's grab a few and see. Now, they're only 10 each, even so. The gold coins are 50 each, so just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, all we need to do is kill the Velma Mermaid, and we are 
that. Another level done in my playthrough. Um, I think we said that psychic people can breathe underwater, etc. It might have been a joke, but I really like how they explain that away. Still don't know if those coins are for anything. Anyway, we're going on to the next level here, Musica Kingdom. Uh, I don't know if I like this level so much. I like how it goes, but because I've died in it uh, in my playthroughs so often. That's what it is, I think. All the levels that I die at and can't really complete all that easily just tend to be not so fun because the length of levels is, is important when you're thinking about games. Uh, you don't want them to be too long, too short. This one's actually got a good length, if I remember correctly. And these bubble ghosts are about the most annoying thing of all. I think, yeah, they they cost me a heart just because it's these fun. When you start off, I like how when you start off this game, you've got two health um, unfilled. So that way, if you come across early health and you haven't taken a hit, well, guess what? Uh, it, it definitely feels like you've still gained something by finding that heart. And I think that's a nice thing that... Um, the more games you need to do, I mean, even when you're, uh, playing a Mario game, right? If you're already Fire Mario and you get a Fire Flower, that's just points, right? But, uh, so it's not that bad. I mean, you still, I think, get points for hearts if you are full. But here, you know, it's like a necessary thing. Like, um, uh, it's a heart system, you know? Not many Mario games have a heart system. I don't think any of them do, actually. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. But you're gonna want to hit that switch and come over here like I clubbed up the entire first time I played through this level. Uh, things that are different with Hazel here. Um, in later parts you can fly over parts that you couldn't get to normally, but most of that area is closed off. I'll, I'll show you that when we get there. But for here you can fly over the area you're not supposed to get to and get the red gem. Which is nice. I mean getting more gems never hurts. Uh, I could also fly over to the left and get another eggplant, but... Actually, this right here is more important, because that uh, bullet cannon down below is very good at shooting me. Um, being Hazel here is tricky, because the fly mechanic and the bounciness kind of tends to not like where you're going. I could, here, this is it. I could have gone and flown over that, but then I'd be trapped on a ceiling, and there's actually nothing past that right area, except more and more death. Normally, this would be a very tri tricky thing to do. You'd have to grab that uh, music block and fly it and, and use it to get here, but I can fly, so that's absolutely wonderful. Gold gem is right there. There's nothing down to the right. I already checked that. Don't worry, guys. And you're going to want to grab this block, because weirdly enough, as you saw last time, if you've been paying attention, and if not, whatever, when you bring blocks to the end, they, uh, oh boy, I've put it in a position where I have to give it to myself by looking right. So perfect, I almost got murdered by the king there trying to save that gem before it got off screen. But you know what? Small mistakes like you need to hold it up or it'll get trapped in the ground you can't grab it are kind of what this game is all about, isn't it? <laughs> trying to figure out strange things in the face of glitches. Alright, and the next level we have, I believe, is the Jet Set Kingdom. But first, let us go to the shop because I've Somebody told me that there was something hidden over this shop, to be honest. Um, what do we have over here? It is this guy, and he says to me... Yeah, this is very interesting. We've never had a control talk mechanic before in this game, and I have no idea who that is, so I'm pretty sure this is a throwback to something. There was also an item in the shop. Look in the upper left. See, try clicking my thing during uh, gameplay. This is a new mechanic completely that I could have bought in the shop as Hazel, which is really cool, and I think I'm going to replay this level in World 4 just to see what happens. Alright guys, uh, yeah, apparently I can grab the mouse as Hazel, and I was just saying a moment ago that, um, that guy in the back, I think he's a game, he's, uh, from another one of Thunder Dragon's games, the creator of Psycho Waluigi. Uh, so you can throw the, uh, the ma- oh no, I, I'm not big enough to enter one block. Gap is a plane. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try that game by Thunder Dragon, actually, to be honest. And if you know what it is, kudos to you, and let me know what you think of playing that other Mario game. And you can't fly over the balloon, even though it looks like you can. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Let's just get on with it. Apparently, um, that thing I unlocked, when I click my Psycho Iris, um, aura thing, it will capture the mouse, which is kind of funny, and it means that I basically have a block. See, it's a block. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually deal any damage to this boss, or probably any other boss out there, because the bosses 
Well, they have their own way of damaging them, right? There's the... There's the having to get the star, and, 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 and flying under the lava. There's the throwing off of things and then jumping on it. There's the... Well, I suppose throwing things at the balloon would work, but, um... That's not that necessary. You, need, you just need to grab the bullets. Man, this... This piranha boss is harder than you guys probably think. It, it's probably one of the hardest bosses in the game, even though it's got a very set order to beating it, you know. Throw down four of these missiles onto the ones on the bottom, dodge the one on the top, it's all about mo mobility. It's all about mobility. But thankfully I've beaten this now with one life remaining. I wonder if this mouse grab will be that useful, but I'm going to use this in this level entirely, just so that we can kind of get the boss of World 4 underway in a in a World 4 speedrun-like thing, and then see what happens. By the way, guys, uh, when I was playing through this, I might have skipped the Jet Set Kingdom. I'm not entirely sure. If I have, uh, I guess I'm going to have to re-record uh, World 5 or something with Jet Set in there. Just because, I mean, there's some areas you can skip and some you can't, but... I, I think the recording screwed up, uh, so I'll just add that all together. Maybe I'll add it at the end of this one. But anyway, all you do here uh, is, is just get over these guys. But now that I have the mouse pointer to use as a weapon, which is really cool. I mean, look at the design on this. This was clearly just like an Easter egg they wanted to include in the game. It's not necessary, and it's kind of... I like, you know, it's, it's definitely fourth wall breaking. It's absolutely hilarious to be able to grab the mouse. <laughs> it's got nice detail though, right? It's all pointy and, and, and you know. It's a mouse! Come on, what can I say about it? Uh, I'll just break my way through it ahead of time instead of waiting for these to explode. Yeah, it's just it's just an extra block, ultimately, and it's actually kind of difficult to do it because uh, when I do it, I've got to have my mouse on screen. Uh, so, I'm, I'm playing Psycho Waluigi, and I've kind of got to worry about that on the screen, and stuff like that, and it doesn't even do that much, it's just one of these blocks, just looking differently. <laughs> uh, not particularly a new mechanic, it, it costs about the same as one of those commemorative coins, but again, this late in the game, coins are completely inconsequential, and unfortunately I can't break these blocks with it, I've got to wait for this to blow it up for me. So, come on, you know where Hazel is, there you go. I like how it broke all of them at once. That's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm I'm a fan of explosions. I'm not gonna lie. I'm although I never saw Transformers, so I'm not making that joke. You guys can take that joke somewhere else, okay? I am not making reference to that guy. You know who I mean. All right. So yes. Unfortunately, like I said, now being able to use the mouse as a new weapon, it's not all that different. And this level. This level is not very good for showing off what Hazel can do. She is Hazel, right? I'm the water level. I'm surprised that he didn't take a hit from that explosion. But, uh... You know, she, she might be able to swim a little faster than Waluigi. And these, these mouse button things really don't do anything else for the game. But it's just a funny little gag. And you know what? With this game's humor and things, it... Fits. It fits very well. You couldn't really fit this into a regular Mario game, so maybe that's why they kind of added the, the mouse button grab as an item in the late game. Just for the heck of I think I missed that time. Yeah, so all you do is shoot these glowing things, as you know, and boom, 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 I love that. I love this music. You know what, guys? I have to admit, I had to look this up, but apparently this music here, the boss music from Psycho Waluigi, is the boss music of Wario Land something or other, um, the one with the clown, uh, but basically, apparently, people usually don't, uh, don't get the fullness of that theme song, because usually they beat the boss before they hear the whole thing, so to me, because this is remixed, uh, it's to such a degree, because that was a Game Boy Advance game, if I'm aware correctly, um, and because they, you know, they basically never heard the full track go circling, uh, and looping all the way around, Basically, this is like it's a whole new song, you know? So that's absolutely amazing. I, I absolutely love this. It even works as I get the heck out of the, the level after we've blown up the core of the planet thing. Which is awesome! I mean, this might be a TV trope. I don't go there because I heard it ruins people's lives. Maybe tell me if it does. 
But anyway, there we go. That's Dreadnought Kingdom beaten with the mouse power-up ability. Very strange. Very strange. I don't know if Waluigi can do this too, or if it's just Hazel. I, I'm not really going to look into that that much. But I am going to keep doing this, I suppose, whenever I need a block. <laughs> I'm going to beat the level-holding one, because I am stylish. And you know what? That matches her hair. It, it doesn't, but... Uh, hey, it's a mouse. Look how strange it is. Alright, guys. I will see you next time, or I'm going to try to add Jet Set Kingdom to the end of this. See you later! And we're back to Let's Play Psycho Waluigi! Yeah, I forgot about Jet Set Kingdom. Wait a minute. This is wrong. I'm supposed to be Hazel. Alright, so there we go. Here we go. Hazel, World 4, the level I almost forgot, Jet Set Kingdom. Alright, guys. So, Jet Set Kingdom. What can I say about this level with Hazel? Uh, you need to fly in it. You need to grab coins. You know what? Actually, come to think of it, this is about one of the shortest levels in the game. No, really, it really is. Just watch. Just watch this, okay? I'll, I'll wait for my fly to be about right, and then I just go over here. Because just like the other tank level, they've actually put the end of the level immediately to the left of where you begin. So, actually, you could reasonably beat this level in another ten seconds? <laughs> kind of like Home Hardware Kingdom? Something like that? I don't know. So yeah, I guess Jet Set Kingdom was so quick I could just add it right on the end of this video without any problem at all. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. No, alright guys, it'd be a cop out if I didn't actually just play this level the way through. <laughs> I mean, sure, uh, technically that does count, but I do feel like since I bothered to not play this level by accident and then all of a sudden throw that clip in there, I might as well play the entire rest of it. Right? I mean, I could fly right up there, but you know what? It's so much funner with Hazel just to, like, fly up this section and destroy the world with charging chucks. You know, there's there's lots of different things that are fun about this game. Breaking it by flying over things they probably didn't intend you to fly over just like that moments ago. That's fun! You know, uh, walking into fire, not so much fun, but, you know, flying into crazy areas using chucks. Things like that. It's just a uh, little ways that this game has being a little bit more awesome, even though it's technically already done. Alright, so this area was kind of tricky to get all the coins in the first time through, but you know what? I am Hazel, and I can fly, so this area with coins, this, this is all just bonus. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this, I can grab them all without a question. I mean, if you're talking about good points that you can get as Hazel, this is another one where it's just like, oh, yep, I'll just knock those down because I can, because I've already gotten them all. <laughs> Usually you probably have to be Waluigi grab them. Now here, there's a heart right here, but that guy always gets in my way, and I tried to grab him quickly, and I didn't manage to, but whatever. And by the way, guys, just so you know, everything up here, there's nothing there. There's just death. And anyway, through the pipe we go into the next area. Ah... <sighs> And here we go, plane section. This might not be different, just like the boss of this level. It's kind of funny though, the plane level is in the boss with the plane. Did I say that backwards? Boss with the plane, plane with the boss? Doesn't matter. I'm Hazel. Hear me. Grab things and throw them. She's really in the plane. She's exactly the same. What can I say? I like her sprite though. I mean, let me see here. Uh, yeah, you grab hearts, you throw bombs down. It's It's fun. Fun! Why am I just debating about this? If it's fun, do it. That's a great rule of life. Don't hold yourself back, go forward. And... Oh, apparently using the bombs will actually destroy the coins, so that might not be a good idea if you're playing through this yourself. But since this is basically just doing Hazel on this level, and if you really- Oh, look at that! I finally got her sprite to match up. That's how they do this, I guess. Left and right kind of mess up the sprite a bit, but then once you've got it perfect, you're good. Now right here, this is actually kind of difficult. You've got to go up and over, grab that gem, and then go all the way down if you can, and duck in here, get the red one. Wow. Oh, I didn't even know there was a bubble ghost down there. That would have been, that would have made the bottom path a lot harder to get. Even though you get a red gem instead of a blue one, you know, just all those enemies down there would have been ridiculous. But if you're fast enough in the plane, and again, you can do this as Waluigi, there is no difference right now between me and the other character. Um, Apparently, yeah, you can do the same. Go get both prizes from both uh, both routes, and you're good to go. 
Now right here, remember, you can't get through one block gaps uh, as a plane, so you've got to kind of strategize. I like how the tank will get blown up on the fire, but if you're close to the ceiling, it'll damage you anyway, apparently, so... Yeah, be a little watchful of that. Now up here, you've got to do that trick I just showed you a while ago. Go down really quickly, because the gold gem in this level is hidden right under here. Uh, it's a good hiding spot, to be honest. It's very simple, kind of out of the way. And that guy has to be the most difficult enemy in this entire thing. Like, look at this. You can't move yourself backwards, so I'm just going in a circle dying all over the place. Which is awful. I mean, I'm, I'm coming back here as I've defeated him, but he still took out three of my health. Pretty much. That, that, that cloud in a... That hat in a cloud. I mean, he's ridiculously fast. He shoots homing shots at you, and... You can't shoot backwards in this plane whatsoever, so he's actually really difficult unless you get him, like, really quickly. So if you're playing through this level, keep that enemy in mind. Basically, the end was right here. Um, don't you hate that dying right at the end? That's like me playing Super Smash Bros. and dying to the 99th man on the 100-man melee. I have done that before. It is an absolute pain. Anyway, thanks for joining me for another kind of speed run as uh, Hazel through this world. Uh, and I will see you when we move on to the next one. And yes, I am actually technically going to play another game by Thunder Dragon in the near future. What will it be? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Join me maybe when I play that.